Welcome to the report from Tiger Mountain. I, I wished for the fall of Daniel Andrews, and um, I didn't actually mean he should literally fall down a flight of stairs, for God's sake. We're going to stick around and talk about that. The Dan Andrews fall, here on the report from Tiger Mountain. Ladies and gentlemen, Daniel Andrews has fallen! No, he hasn't left office. Um, he's actually just fallen down a flight of stairs, which is very unusual. I mean, a very strange event. Um, when did this happen? I believe it was the house of Lindsay Fox. Um, well, I mean, you know, I mean, Lindsay Fox is in transportation. I mean, uh, there's a lot of kind of like, uh, kind of mafia connection to the industry of transportation. I wonder if anyone gave him a little push. Who knows? We don't know what happened at, at Lindsay Fox's house that evening. Maybe, um, Dictator Dan was just high on his power and actually was just getting drunk uh, at the Fox's house and maybe he just slipped of his own accord. Maybe it was a bit of karma. Maybe God, you know, it's kind of like made his shoes a little extra sick, extra slippery because he was sick of the way he treated um, Victorians the past few months, but it was quite serious. I mean, um, the Premier was in um, intensive care for uh, at least a couple of weeks uh, and obviously he's um, still not back on deck and he's been off social media for a while now and his deputy has come, uh, come on board and his deputy has basically said we don't longer have to wear masks anymore, which happens tonight so it's very mysterious what happened with with Dan and his fall I mean I can't exactly work out what's going on but um, it does seem like that the third lockdown we had um, well, that was definitely Daniel Andrews going off script it was almost like that they had agreed to the lockdowns that had happened obviously they all agreed to the first lockdown and then the third lockdown was the kind of result of Daniel Andrews bumbling in relation to quarantine. So it was almost like, well, it was, it was extremely long. It was like three and a half. It was like being in prison. It literally was. It was terrible. All Victorians who lived through it will remember it. It's the dark time in Victoria. And then, and then we had like one case or something or that escaped from like a quarantine at, at the airport. And then he locked this down, for, I think, for a very short time. It was only like five days. And there was talk he wanted to extend it. But no, uh, I remember when Lee Sales, who happened to have been in Melbourne, I think she flew down for a friend's um, birthday party or something. She went down there like Peter Credler and basically turned into a real journalist for one day. And she basically attacked um, Daniel Andrews. And I knew then he was, he, he was stuffed. Because he was Lee Sales, basically just attacking him, like, what the hell are you doing locking us down? And, you know, blah, 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 I'm down here for my friend. You know, she just gave him a roasting, and you could see he was literally sweating on the spot. So, you know, it's very interesting, and not long after that, he falls down a flight of stairs. Maybe the ABC did it, who knows, ladies and gentlemen? All kinds of conspiracies can be, uh, uh, can be examined. As I said, maybe it was just the fact that he was drunk and high on his own power, and uh, like many people, uh, when they're high on their own power trip, um, they take a fall, whether it be literal or... Or, uh, metaphorical. So that's Daniel Andrews' fall, ladies and gentlemen. We don't exactly know what's going on, but uh, we'll have to see. Does Daniel Andrews come back from this? Does he does he resign and move off, shuffle off the Buffalo? Um, there's been talk that Peter Credlin should run against him in Victoria, which I think would be absolutely. Please, let's all let's all take a moment here, ladies and gentlemen. Pray to God, oh dear Father out in heaven. Please, Peter Credlin, run against Daniel Andrews because she would beat him, and it would be spectacular. We would become the best state in this country. Peter Credlin, please, please run for premier and. And uh, get rid of Daniel Andrews or whoever happens to replace him if he decides to step down. That is a report from Tiger Mountain today. Thank you for listening.